All right. Happy Tuesday morning to you all. Been a long time since I've uh, done a ride vlog. <laughs> I haven't been riding much, so that's why. Uh, I need to take this thing over and get the uh, tag done. It's been parked for a good long time. 12 of 22, so she's uh, a little out of date. Uh, I've been working on a couple of the bikes in the background. I'll have some videos coming up on that soon. Uh, but today, I'm uh, in a hurry to get out. i got to get on the road because I have a customer that took some kind of a power hit last night at a medical office and it was a doozy because it killed their uh, firewall, their internet modem from AT&T and also shut their servers down. So I've been uh, troubleshooting that this morning trying to figure out what's what remotely and of course it's not coming up because the firewall is cooked. And I'm using a new microphone today. I don't know how well the audio is going to come out so I might just be talking to myself. Unknown. I'm using my old helmet, if you guys can see it, my old uh, motocross helmet. I have a brand new uh, showy Neotech 2 sitting in the box that I have not uh, uncorked yet and transferred all of my vlogging gear over to, again, because I've not been riding, so just uh, sitting there patiently waiting. Uh, my back and uh, shoulders are slowly healing, but nowhere near what I would consider normal. Uh, I've got a lot of numbness and nerve issues and stuff like that going on in my, uh, in my hands and also my left leg. Uh, I can't feel the outer two fingers, you know, my uh, ring finger and little finger on both hands. My right one's not as bad, but my right shoulder uh, rotator cuff is torn up real bad. Left rotator cuff is feeling better, but uh, I've got pretty much no sensation at all in my little finger. Uh, my ring finger is tingly, and I don't have a lot of strength to uh, grasp things. You know, my, my pressure uh, calculation, let's call it, uh, I don't really know how well I'm grabbing things, so I, I end up dropping things a lot. It's very annoying. I think I've got a hold of something and uh, I don't. <laughs> and then of course my left leg, uh, I've got you know the spinal stuff going on uh, and my lumbar I had a couple of severely slipped discs and uh, a lot of trauma there uh, and I still have radiating pain down my left leg, uh, not so much on the right, but definitely my left hip is goobered up where I was hit by that Jeep and also hit the pavement right after that. And uh, a lot of burning and uh, pain in my foot and my calf. So nerves are still trying to get back to normal. I have some upcoming rides that I'm hoping to do. I don't know how well my uh, endurance is gonna work out for that as far as you know sitting on a bike and having my arms outstretched like this and not being able to move around too much uh, I think I could deal with the lower back stuff more than I could deal with my, uh, my arms and hands going numb because that's no bueno man you can't operate the controls you're in trouble so we'll see uh, my hope is to have the CB500X put back together later this week. Yeah, it's kind of my deadline. I want to have it done by Saturday. Uh, I'm still waiting on my wheel bearings to come in over at the uh, Honda shop. They've got the wheels. I just asked them to go ahead and press them in for me because I didn't want to... Uh, after you, man. I'm trying not to get run over here. Morning. Uh, I didn't want to mess with the, the manual bearing press and you know, banging them out with the little collars and all that stuff. I'll just uh, let the shop do it because they've got uh, hydraulic presses and all the stuff they need to do it. So pay them to do it. But they didn't have the bearings in stock. I think they had the oil seals, the grease seals. But the, uh, the bearings were on order and they expected them in just three or four days. But that would have been Friday and they didn't have them. So hopefully today when they open, those parts will be there waiting they can finish that up. I'll go pick the wheels up, put that thing back together. I need to do the other maintenance on it, uh, all the maintenance. It's going to be a, a full teardown, so I'll pull the forks off, uh, 
clean and rebuild the forks, put new seals in there, dust boots, all that, and uh, do the valve clearance. I need to flush my brakes and put new pads on the front because the uh, original pads have got 21,000 and change on them now, and they're, they still have some meat, but they're getting thin. And I think that's pretty much it. I got to fix my dangly turn signal. It's over on the right side. Uh, somebody broke that thing, and I've got to pull the whole nose off of the bike to do that. So that's why I decided, yeah, well, I'll, I'll just do that at the same time I'm doing the uh, valve clearance check because you got to strip all that down, take the tank off of it, and everything. So I'll do that. And then uh, that should be my steed to ride up to Arkansas for the total eclipse on April 8th. My plan is to leave the Houston area on the 6th. I'm going to give myself an extra day uh, just in case my back can't do it. You know, if I'm in too much pain or you know, my hands and arms are too numb or whatever it is, I'll break it up and give myself some extra time. So I'll give myself two days to get up toward the Texarkana area. Uh, Neil and I are planning to meet in Arkadelphia on the afternoon evening of the 7th we're going to stay overnight there and then we will get the uh, ride started up to Nimrod Lake very early on the morning of the 8th which is uh, Monday I guess so the eclipse day we're going to leave the hotel or campsite whatever it is very early get up there and hopefully stationary get all of our stuff ready uh, no later than about 11 or 11 30 because that's when the eclipse is actually starting uh, so it'll start getting darker you know around 11 20 11 30 ish based on the calculations and then the full eclipse is something like 1 30 in the afternoon or whatever but uh, we'll observe that have some fun and then we're staying overnight at Nimrod Dam Nimrod Lake uh, campground there And then, you know, the ninth, sometime uh, afternoon-ish, we'll start heading back. And uh, again, I'll probably give myself about two days to get back, just to break it up and not be sitting on the bike too long and aggravating my uh, back and shoulders and all that. Then, the next event is the Life of Birch meetup that's happening in May. Uh, I've already planned that. I have uh, paid the the dues to stay with the guys at the uh, Airbnb. We had rented out a big place. Like, I don't know how many. It sleeps 14 people or something like that. It's big. I don't know how many rooms. But yeah, anyway, so I paid my dues to participate in that, but I'm not sure if my back will tolerate it, if I can get up there or not. So wish me luck, everyone. Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, and again, on the same theme, I have to give myself an extra day or two to get up there. So I'll give myself three days to get up there instead of my normal day and a half. Uh, and I'll probably be riding the 500X because I don't know if my back and everything can tolerate the uh, Rebel you know, seating position and the bumps and all that with the rear suspension. Probably not a good idea. So 500X is supremely comfortable for long distance mile munching. So that's the one that I'll probably take. So I'm riding the Navi today to give it some exercise. Also to do the, uh, the tag and inspection and everything that I mentioned. And... Uh, it's the only one that I've got rolling at the house right now, except for the little C3. <laughs> the PCX150 is down. Uh, my 500X is down. What else is in the garage? Silverwing is down. A bunch of them are down. So this is my uh, my only roller. My 500F, or not mine, it's my son's bike now. That one's uh, rolling and healthy, but I leave that for him to do his stuff. So my Rebel and all the other uh, running bikes, the mini motos and all that are at the warehouse. So this is my little go-getter right now. Ooh, I smell brakes or clutch. Whew. Stinky, fishy. Why is that? Brake linings, burning brake linings and clutch always smell kind of fishy. I don't know what that is. Yes, could I have the uh, extra flounder, the double flounder uh, brake pads, please? <laughs> yeah, it feels good to be out on two wheels again. It'd be great if I could feel my left hand. You can feel my first two fingers and my thumb, but 
everything else is pretty uh, missing in action. I don't know how that's going to translate to uh, riding the clutch bike, you know, 500X and my others. Uh, I've got plenty of strength in my first two fingers, which those are the ones that you pull your levers with anyway, but you know, you, you hang on to the bar with the other two fingers generally just to give yourself some closure around the bar end. So, yeah, look at this genius. Uh, I don't know how that's going to feel with basically no pressure sensation on my other two fingers that are normally hanging onto the bar. I'll, I'll just get used to gripping more with my thumb, I guess. My thumb and my palm, because I can feel those. So I'll just put more pressure there, you know, kind of like that, and uh, hang onto the bar. Just a little bit different muscle memory. I don't know if I'll leave this in the vlog or not. I might put it on the uh, Raw channel. Uh, I've been advised by my attorneys to not do any more social media anything period no social media done zero can't do it anymore at least until the uh, lawsuit from my accident has been concluded uh it, that's just not going to work for me man i mean i could just avoid posting stuff of course but uh they're worried about things looking like i'm back to normal and the lawsuit is fraud or whatever which you know, couldn't be further from the truth i'm still pretty f***ed up uh, can't sleep at night uh, my shoulders my back everything is just you know banged up and twisted up and nerve damage and all that stuff so uh, my life has definitely been a shit show for the last five going on six months the uh, writing has been you know missing in action because my back and shoulders and you know all the the pain that I'm having it doesn't really uh, bode well for riding at least not long distances so back to my attorney's uh, recommendations of you know don't don't ride don't do any videos anything like that 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 shit's not going to work because I can't just stay at home you know for the next what year two years however long this uh uh lawsuit and all that stuff is going to take uh, it's, yeah how am I going to survive I'm already having enough trouble keeping my bills paid and food on the table and lights turned on and all that I haven't been working enough and we're down a couple of cars right now and I don't have the money to get extra cars so <laughs> this is my transportation I'm, I'm on two wheels pretty much uh, I have a lot of choices right now my money has been uh problematic for a while and it's just done nothing but get worse uh, because of the accident and everything else so it's not been uh, not been a lot of fun in uh, Quasi's house lately and I have my own special reserve parking spot watch this Yeehaw! I win I win front row almost doors over there but yeah whatever okay I've arrived uh, I don't know if I've been talking to myself the whole time. Could be. Who knows? Uh, don't know if this microphone works at all. But I bid you all farewell. I uh, hope to catch up with you after work. All right. Back on the road. It's uh, almost 6 o'clock, I think. 5.30-ish. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, finally got done with that uh, call. Got everything going. It's an all-day deal, but, you know, it's whatever it takes. So now I'm going to head back toward the uh, office. Or warehouse, I guess. Okay, well, just now getting to the warehouse after a full day of work, <laughs> and I've got a few hours to go here uh, before I head home, so I will bid you all farewell, and hopefully catch you for another ride vlog soon.